The views and opinions expressed during the following program are solely those of the participants and not necessarily those of this station's management, the Smith & Riley Radio Network, or their sponsors. It's time once again for Smith & Riley, Central Florida's entertainment connection, with your hosts, Reagan Smith and Dave Riley. And now, you've waited all week. It's time once again to get connected with Smith and Riley. Let's do it. Really? Yeah. Okay, uh, plug in that thing over there. And oh, I did. And we're now connected. I feel it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Surging. The vibrations. Wow. That's Dave Riley. And you're Reagan Smith. I hope so. Yeah. And we trust you know who you are, and, mm-hmm. and, and we do say thank you for the pleasure of your company. Another show. We do know you have an awful lot of choices out there up and down the dials and around That's the right. internet, and we are always delighted when you like to light here and spend a few minutes with us. That's right. Well, this is, uh, we have a couple of of, of brand new faces with us I today, noticed that, David. Yeah. Uh, apparently, the word hasn't gotten around, and uh, didn't scare they, them off. No, oh. they were unafraid to come in here <laughs> to the Smith and Riley Castle, uh, high atop our building here in beautiful downtown Maitland, and uh, they are the major characters of a brand new production opening at the Garden Theater. Oh, well, it's a new production to them. the Garden Theater. Yeah. Uh, Sweeney Todd, ah. the demon barber of Fleet Street. Ah! <laughs> well, I'm laughing, but I mean, well, wow. wow. Scary stuff. September 12th through October the 5th, but more about that uh, in, in just a moment. We want to welcome to Smith & Riley, Candy Heller. Hello. And Nick Kroger. Hello. Well, it's good to have you with us. And being as this is your first time uh, to to, to uh, come on in here, we always like to find out a little bit about uh, our special guests. And uh, usually, what we do is is ask you to tell us a, a little bit about yourself, maybe your educational background, mm-hmm. and what drew you to theater, and and how you got involved in this production, and then uh, we'll go from there. So, ladies first, and, and Candy, if you will. Uh, okay. Um. Well, I did theater in high school. I went to Lake Mary High School, actually mm-hmm. not far from here. Um, I'm currently a paralegal over wow. at the Mealy Law Firm, so that's what I do by day. Wow. And then I try to do fit in a little theater at night. You, uh, what you know, as as, as a young lady, uh, what what drew you to the theater? What? I think it's just something that kind of runs in the family. It's in the blood. You uh-huh. know, my my dad is a musician. Um, my mom is an artist. Um, I believe my dad's background had a lot of theater in, in South Africa. Wow. Um, my mom was an opera singer in Argentina. So it's, wow. it's just kind of, it's in the blood. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll come back and, and do some more of that. Uh, oh, but I have to, I have to interject, yeah. though. Uh, I can imagine what it is like in your house when people are taking showers. <laughs> <laughs> or getting ready for an audition yeah. or you know I mean this oh, is never quiet yeah, I can imagine <laughs> go ahead <laughs> well and uh, also with us today is Nick Kroger and, and uh, Nick uh, uh, this is unusual actually to find a, a native Floridian uh, and one actually uh, originally f- from the Orlando area My, that makes you about what about one out of every ten people in this state are actually I don't know uh, not many <laughs> Are you, are, as in, I'm from Orlando, or because I'm, I'm actually, I'm Canadian. Oh, <laughs> all right. I, I, I thought you were talking about Nick. I, I thought maybe I thought I, I, I thought maybe she was actually born in the Orlando area. Oh. You, you, you live in Lake Mary. Uh, yes, I, I oh. went to high school in Lake Mary. I yeah. live in Orlando. Okay. Like, well, I, you've been here a long time. Yes, I've been yeah. here. Yeah, okay. definitely. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> not, not, not native born, but these I'm days, any, any, anybody that's been here more than six months is semi-native, <laughs> yeah, right? <that's> <laughs> so, all. All right. Well, Nick Kroger, your your story. I actually have the opposite story. I grew up in the cornfields of Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Wow. And um, must no, have, must have been a little bit. Uh, well, you're open to the elements out there, aren't you? Yeah, snowmobiles were some <laughs> of the only ways around some winters. But um, I have no one in my family, siblings, five of them, parents that. Um, our singers, actors. I was the oddball. I wondered forever if I was adopted. Um, and uh, I don't know. I was just one of those kids that um, I love to act, uh, you know, and to sing. I was primarily a singer when I first started out, but um, found my way to Florida because of a girl and uh, ended up working for, you know, one of those major theme parks. And um, and it kind of took off from there. And through the years, I've I've done what we call normal jobs. Um, and married and have my own family. And uh, this kind of just started for me maybe five or six years ago. 
the whole acting thing. Up until then, I had been a background vocalist, uh, a jingle singer, you know, that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. So, mm. yeah. Okay. That's great. Uh, and how did the acting get started? Mm-hmm. You- I actually oh. auditioned at another theme park here in town, uh-huh. and um, I was hired. And about six months in, I thought, I'm I'm pretty okay at this acting thing. Um, <laughs> and uh, and from there, I've been there about seven years, and I'm the production manager and uh, a writer and a director for them. So I do do entertainment during the day, and um, in the last year and a half only have I delved into the Central Florida kind of arts community yeah, yeah. and um, and started trying to do shows outside of work. You know, and that's something we ought to point out, yeah. that it takes dedication yeah. to our local arts community. You both have full-time jobs yes. that I'm presuming right. are 40 hours a week plus. Yes. Oh, and, 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 and sure. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, you, you, you spend your evenings and your weekends and uh, at the theater and yeah. rehearsing and, and uh, now... Uh, Almost a, what do we have here? At least a three week run here at uh, four, four weeks. Four yeah, weeks yeah. Uh, at at the Garden Theater in Winter Garden, and that, it's, it's a major commitment. It's a big chunk out of your life. People who don't get it think we're you know you're strange to take up what little bit of free time you have to do something mm-hmm. else. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, it's because you enjoy it so much, though. That's Absolutely. Exactly it. Well, that's they that's don't understand what you get out of it, and that's fine because they're not uh, wired like you are. Right. You know, mm-hmm. and that's all right. But I can imagine how much fun it is to to do that and just have play and have fun in this way. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Yes. Yeah, sure. Now, uh, aside from all that, what made you decide that you wanted to audition and you end up with a major role in Sweeney Todd? I certainly did not think I was going to get a major role in Sweeney Todd. I can tell you that right now. Are you Sweeney or Todd? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, um, I, I just went into audition because I love, I love the show. I love uh, Sondheim is the, the composer. So mm-hmm. um, when I found out Theater Works Florida was putting it on, I was like, uh, I, I should at least try and... Here I am. No harm, no foul. Yeah. yeah. So you did. And and Nick, was was there anything about the show that drew you well, to it? Or? Actually, uh, the director, Scott, ah. um, and I were friends about 25 years ago. Mm-hmm. And um, I had not had the opportunity to work for him in this capacity. And so I thought, why not? And I had played another character in this same show uh, before and I thought how easy I'll go in I'll just get that character maybe some blocking <laughs> changes oh that's a given and I can um, and I can just incorporate it real easy into my life and it didn't turn out that way <laughs> now I gotta learn new lines I gotta learn a whole different thing <laughs> plus an amazing gentleman walked in and sang the out of wow, um, yeah. this character I had done before so there was no chance <laughs> <laughs> you got pushed into a different place <laughs> to the lead yeah I guess <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Well, let me uh, let me let me pause and insert here that mm. Sweeney Todd is running at the Garden Theater, September twelfth through October fifth. Mm-hmm. Uh, ticket reservations at four zero seven eight seven seven four seven three six or GRDN, whichever you want to do. Four zero seven eight seven seven four seven three six. The Garden Theater at one sixty West Plant Street in Winter Garden. And I, I've got to tell you, you allow me a, a minute here. Mm-hmm. Um, it's in uh, an area of Winter Garden that they have done a marvelous job of restoring. Right. Uh, that looks nice. You it's walk beautiful. down the street. Oh, it's just Wonderful. gorgeous with trees down the middle of the street and, and the old shops. Uh, it could be 1920 again. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, some nice restaurants there. Absolutely. And, and, and what, what you might want to do uh, when you go to see Sweeney Todd is to make an entire evening out yes. of it or take a Sunday afternoon. Go early, have dinner, let the folks know at the restaurant that you're there because you are coming to the Garden Theater to see Sweeney Todd, you know, uh, and and allow yourself some time to take a stroll through this restored downtown, Enjoy old, old-fashioned downtown Absolutely. area. Uh, it's just, uh, it, it really is. It's, it's marvelous. So um, there you are. And, and and the Winter Garden Chamber of Commerce did Appreciate not pay you. me to say that. No, <laughs> <laughs> no but they, they like you a lot. <laughs> yes, they do. Well, all right. So that's so. There's a demon barber um, running around. Is that what we're talking about? So he got horns and stuff. And no, is no he slicing horns. people's ears off. <laughs> what? He, he's just he's a very hurt and broken man that has kind of lost control of his life at some point. Oh. And 
it just kind of manifests itself in uh, intent of revenge. Mm. So he does cut hair. He well, <laughs> here, here and there, and some other things. Maybe a sideburn or two. <laughs> Jeez. For, for those who don't know, I'm trying to play that part. You know, yeah. how, how do we know? And what's Fleet Street all about? Now, as 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 we're starting to paint this rather dark picture, <laughs> what, what what we really haven't said a whole lot about, and, and you did mention it, but this is. A Stephen Sondheim musical, yeah, right. big stuff. You know, yeah. I mean, it, wow, it's amazing, and 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 some of the most um, difficult music in my head. Yes. I, it's like doing trigonometry. He writes stuff that doesn't match the accompaniment or who you're singing with. And <laughs> why is he so good again? <laughs> right, but he has a reason and a rhyme for it all. Yes. <laughs> well, makes you it know, difficult. I, when you when you stop and think about among his other uh, accomplishments is the thing called the assassins from a couple yes. of seasons yes. back, not, and not many people realize that that's the story of the assassination attempts on Gerald Ford right. wow. when he was in California in the nineteen seventy six. And it's a musical. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> bang bang. <laughs> <laughs> Missed you. Bang bang. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. He, Interesting he, character. He, he has done that. Um, the uh, um, well, I guess it's a fair question. We'll do this, and we'll, we'll have to take a little bit of a break here. But um, a favorite, uh, and, and when you're in a play like this, like this, probably a tough question. But is there a favorite moment in the production that jumped out at you that y- you look forward to each day in rehearsal? And, and I have a feeling we have the same favorite moment. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's a, a song that we do together. I don't want to give it away, but oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what's a song? It, hap- it happens in the shop. Yeah, it reveals part of the plan of how we get away with what we get away with, and it's in this dark production a very funny and light and very cleverly done moment. In a very Sondheim way. Yes. Mm. Okay. All right. Well, you have to go there and yes. see it in order to find out what they're. No spoilers here. No. We, know, we know it's. We know we it's a duet. We don't know if it's Sweeney or Todd. We don't know why it's Lee Street. We know that it's got some rhyme or reason. <laughs> well, again, let me remind the folks that Sweeney Todd, the demon barber of Fleet Street, is being produced at the Garden Theater, uh, Theater Works Florida. Four zero seven eight seven seven four seven three six for ticket reservations. Four zero seven eight seven seven four seven three six or gardentheater dot org, and that is theater with an R E, the way it is supposed to be spelled. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. And you can you can do that, and uh, uh, reservations strongly Very. Uh, recommended. Yeah, oh, yeah. This is this is not a huge theater. We're not talking five or six hundred seats here. Going to go fast, but it's a gorgeous theater. Yes, mm-hmm. and uh, so I'll tell you what we'll talk. More about that, but uh, you are listening to Smith and Riley. I'm Reagan Smith. I'm Dave Riley. Our very special guest, Candy Heller and Nick Kroger from Sweeney Todd, the Demon of Barber, uh, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street, at the Garden Theater, and we'll continue our conversation in a moment. You're listening to the Smith and Riley Radio Network. Smith and Riley is Central Florida's entertainment connection. Get connected by accessing podcasts and show archives online 24-7 at smithandriley.com. And if you missed any part of this, it'll be there at smithandriley.com. Yeah. Oh, I have to wait for that chord every time. Like I don't that? know why all these years I just... That, we, that, that. we call it a stinger. That's in <laughs> yeah, the business. It's yeah, called a that's stinger. Right, that's right. I'm Reagan Smith. I'm Dave Riley. And our very special guests uh, on uh, this edition of Smith & Riley, Candy Heller and Nick Kroger. They are the stars of Sweeney Todd that runs September 12th through October 5th at the Garden Theater in Winter Garden, mm-hmm. the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. And um, I want to spend a minute or two. This is a, a, a production of Theater Works Florida uh, and uh, directed by Scott Cook. And uh, tell, us, tell us about the company and your director. This is the first Either. time I've, I've worked with, with Theater Works Florida at all. Um, definitely the most amount of work I've ever put into anything I've done in my life, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's all, all, all honestly the most professional company I've ever worked for. I would work for Scott again in a heartbeat. His brain works at like a million yes. miles a minute. Like he says, if you can't handle the speed of Scott, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> 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 and he'll run you over. And he's not kidding. But, but 
for me, it proves something to myself because I didn't even know that I could process information that quickly. <laughs> <laughs> but being put in that position, I could, and I'm, I'm having a blast. It's a lot of work, but I'm I'm having a ton of fun. Yeah, yeah. Is, Scott is uh, in the realm of directors and and just creative vision. You see his wheel spinning. He's to me just one of those people that's a genius, and and I don't use yes. it lightly. But you know, you look at them and you might find them just a tad bit strange because they are just so creative and um it's one of the hardest roles and productions i've ever done but it for us gives us that taste of what it must be like to be on broadway i mean the quality is just that good cast wise they'll Mm -hmm. melt your faces off these singers um costuming the sets uh how he's directed it um i'm so impressed and he's raised the bar he oh, he yeah. just he he has and it's amazing. I would recommend it if I were not even in mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's great because you're challenged, right? And both of you oh, yes. know that when, even though it is hard, when you're challenged, you get a lot of uh, back out of that oh, after, after sure. it's over. You, oh yeah, yeah. I've invested. got more tools in my box than when I came in with yeah. when I ah, leave. Yeah, well, oh, that's yeah. what I you want. That's an important yes, point. Yes, yes. Yeah. Let me, now, you have known Scott for some time. I, I, we were friends when we were performers. That Gosh, I'm dating him and me, and I don't know if that's good. But, um, <laughs> yes, about 25 years ago, right before I got married, and I have stayed in touch, you know, social media. But the first time I had seen Scott in 25 years was when I walked into the audition mm-hmm. face-to-face. Wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Wow. Well, I, I just wondered about this because, you know, there, there are an awful lot of – Theater groups, right? Uh, in Central, and this is not an easy business. No, mm-hmm. uh, and and so I thought perhaps you m- might he might have shared with you a little bit about uh, the notion of of, of uh, Theater Works Florida and, and how he decided it was time to do this. Scott's a performer at heart. There's not a better um, you know all around dancer, actor, singer, performer. And I'm talking from back in the day, personal experience watching him do this and. He's worked at all the, you know, wonderful major theme parks. But I think sometimes lies within you, you know, something beyond that, that creative process. You just have so much creativity that it's not being able to be expressed simply as a performer. And I think in my mind, that's what drove him. And to also just add to the community, to the give back to the theatrical arts community, to provide opportunity for wonderful performers. And I think he leaves. He works mm. so hard. I, I, I sometimes say, are you enjoying this? You know, <laughs> um, <laughs> But I think not only a show well done, but knowing that he's you know, given the community a great uh, evening and he's given fellow performers the opportunity mm. to show off their gifts. Yeah. So- sounds like he's a combination of facilitator and control freak. Uh, he's not a control freak. <laughs> no, but but he you have to be. I he, thought, but he knows exactly what's going yes. on. Three sixty. That's yeah. a control freak. No, come on, come on. <laughs> they, you just don't like the word freak. But I'm yeah. telling you, three sixty is a is a freak because not everybody can do that. Right. He's a he's a nice one. Though. There you go. Yeah. There you go. All right. One of the nicest well, freaks I know. And, and <laughs> getting me in trouble. I know. I know. Well, I think that they were fortunate in yeah. that they were able to strike uh, a relationship yeah. with the garden. The theater oh, the Winter Garden. Oh, sure. This is it's 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 a magnificent facility, and I don't I don't remember the exact what is it, 120, 150, something like that. Seats. Uh, I mean, it's not a huge. Uh, theater. No, I'm thinking it sits around a couple hundred probably. Yeah, a couple, okay. It's got yeah. that old world look and yeah. feel to it, but um, it's a, it's a wonderful venue to come and feel not only like you're seeing a great show, but that you're actually part of it. And yeah. that's really what transports guests. That's that's mm-hmm. the thing. You walk through the front door and you're back in the 1920s. Yes. Because this, this theater originally, uh, not only it, it showed movies, but it was a home to vaudeville entertainment. Right. Yeah. And, and so you had the combination of live stage and the board over there and the people over several years now have raised an awful lot of money and put a lot of effort into to re- save it, really. restoring yeah, this theater right. and making it a part of this marvelous uh, Got, restored downtown. Gotta love that. So you're, you're very fortunate that you have this, this marvelous venue. Amazing. And they have a really, I've noticed, a wonderful relationship with the businesses on this beautiful plant yes. street that you mentioned. And they all just come together and work together, whether it's advertising or hosting an event. Mm-hmm. But they promote each other. And yeah. so that's been really, really wonderful to see that interaction as well Symbiotic. as we've been there. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, now uh, I wanted to ask, uh, and I'm going to get you to, to uh, don't give too much away, but, <laughs> but, but share a little bit. Uh, 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 you know, there may be some folks along the ni- uh, network line who are saying, Sweeney Todd, what in the world is that? I yeah. don't, I'm not familiar.
familiar with Sweeney Todd. So I, I want you to tease us a little bit about uh, your character and, and a little bit with the plot line, and then Nick will ask mm -hmm. you to do the same thing. So uh, tell us about your character. Okay, um, well, I play Mrs. Lovett. Um, she's kind of, I guess, the instigator of, of most of this. Um, uh, Sweeney Todd... Uh, <laughs> even it's, it's hard not to give yeah, it away. <laughs> thought, like, <laughs> she and I are opportunists, yeah. and we are taking advantage of one another for our own gain. But Mrs. Lovett's wheels work really, really fast. Mm -hmm. And when opportunity presents itself, tell me if I'm wrong, um, <laughs> she's already got plan A, B, and C and how she can use the person <laughs> she's standing with to accomplish it. <laughs> Mrs. Lovett was originally uh, played by Angela Lansbury, uh -huh. yeah. and so you kind of get a feel for the kookiness, a little off and odd, but I'm telling your character. Uh, so. No, no, that's, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, pretty much Mrs. Lovett's like the crazy cat lady from Outer Space. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> I never heard it put quite yeah, that way. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, so, so Mrs. Lovett, and, and, and she's there throughout the entire mm -hmm. production. Yeah, I'm, and, uh, and, uh, pretty much I'm either in love or infatuated with Sweeney Todd. I don't even think she knows. Um, and I just kind of tag along the whole time looking like the sidekick when really I'm a little more in control yes. of, what's, of what's going on. And Puppet master. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Very much exactly. so. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right. Well, now let's hear about Sweeney Todd. Um, Sweeney, who originally was uh, Benjamin Barker, um, was wronged in his life by some prominent people there on Fleet Street. And... Um, is sent away and loses everything. He comes back, and, and, and basically I feel Sweeney Todd is so hurt and um, feels so cheated out of his life that it manifests itself in a very basic emotion of just revenge. So throughout the show, he flits between such deep sorrow, gut-wrenching sorrow and anger, and you know the arc of his emotions are almost make you crazy. And I connect with, Mrs. Lovett, and um, she adds a little bit of smile and humor into my life, but um, together they're a, a force to be reckoned with and creating havoc that even the other one doesn't realize. So in the end, you know, um, it's up to the, the person watching to see, you know, did they accomplish what they came to do? Was it satisfying? Uh, and, and everybody could have a different opinion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, Murder. <laughs> I said it. Yes. <laughs> murder. Create, creative murder. <laughs> With a blade. Set to music. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, I'm telling you, it incredible. works. It works. Do you slash to the music? I am. Um, yeah, I slash yeah. to the music. To the beat. Come on. <laughs> 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 Well, it, it, it is, uh, I don't even know how many awards it's won <laughs> and, yeah. you know, over the years, uh, but it, is, yeah, uh, it, it really is a marvelous production. And uh, let me recap here again for you. Sweeney Todd, September 12th through October 5th, uh, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, Theater Works Florida, at the Garden Theater. Now, mm -hmm. uh, uh, performance, uh, uh, do we have Thursday shows or are we doing Friday, it Saturday? Is, uh, well, the first weekend is just Friday through Sunday. Okay. Um, and then the other weekends after that will be Thursday through Sunday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thurs th okay. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 8? Yes. yes. And, and then a Sunday, Sunday matinee at? <laughs> We're both looking. Is it 2, two? or is it 3? <laughs> it's usually one of the 2 or 2.30. Click on the button. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if we can. <laughs> I think it's oh, internet. Be there. I don't Help me, internet. I think it's it's not at night. Uh, yeah, uh, we know it's in the we, afternoon. We know it's an afternoon show. Yeah, yeah we it's got a matinee. It. Let's see here, Bethesda. Um, We're your inter God. entertainment connection. Yes. <laughs> you can have lunch and still go to it. So that's basically what you can do. Uh, that is true. Two o'clock Sunday. Two. Okay. Two o'clock Sunday. Okay. And there is a special industry night on Monday, September the 29th. Right. And oh. good luck with that. We Everybody yeah. has their, uh, you know, for people they work with in the entertainment industry, and that's kind of the only night of the week they can come. Yeah. So yeah. That's good. Fills All up right. fast. Thursday through Saturday at 8, Sunday afternoon at 2. Of course, your opening week, as you said, uh, you open on Friday night, right. uh, September the 12th. So, and, and, and we do urge ticket reservations yes. uh, in advance uh, at the most a couple of hundred seats. In the, in mm -hmm. this they have a loyal theater. following there, yeah, and they it feels do. quick. Going to fill her up. Oh, yeah. So you want to do it at 
4736 mm-hmm. 407-877-4736 or gardentheater.org. You can reserve your tickets online. And uh, it really is a marvelous production. Candy Heller, w- what's next on the agenda for you? Are you looking ahead? What are we... Uh, I think, I think, I say this every time, I think I'm going to take a break. Uh, we'll see if And just focus actually, on the law firm. Yeah, we'll see. If, we'll see. <laughs> Best wishes with that. <laughs> Sorry, Suzanne. You, you, got the, you, you got the bug bad, I can tell. <laughs> and, and, and Nick, how about you? I, um, I laugh because I'm, I was thinking the same thing. I probably really <laughs> need to take a break. But, you know, in this uh, field, in, in this line of work, you really were gypsies. We don't know what's coming yeah. next, and it kind of, you mm-hmm. know, you go with the flow and what feels right and what you want to do. And If, some, um, if something pops up. It's hard to say no, mm-hmm. yes. That's right. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> there's well, times when it doesn't. That's and right. And so you appreciate yeah. it when someone what does want you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the, the Garden Theater has a whole wide variety of productions yes. that they do. Mm-hmm. Something for everybody. Absolutely. Uh, you can find older movies there. You can find the Orlando Ballet. You mm-hmm. can find Sweeney Todd. Uh, it really is. It, and as I say, um, it's a part of this this reconstructed old Winter Garden downtown mm-hmm. area that is just so marvelous to like go a ta- and spend time a time travel. Of. Yeah, it, it it really is. So again, Sweeney Todd, September twelfth through October.